The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NNPC, will soon become a limited liability company in line with the Pres Petroleum Industry Act. President Mohamed Buhari has directed that the state oil company be incorporated. A statement released by his office made it clear that he's doing so in his capacity as the Minister of Petroleum Resources. The president has also approved the appointment of the board and management of the NNPC Limited as soon as the company is incorporated. The board will be chaired by Senator Ifani Ararume and have a representative from each of Nigeria's six geopolitical zones. Mele Kolokiari retains his position as the chief executive officer of the new NNPC. And we have an analyst joining us to take a look at this, uh, Mr. Balazaka. Good evening, Mr. Zaka. Yeah, good evening, uh, viewers. What is your opinion about the directive to incorporate the NNPC? Well, uh, I heard about the directive. Whenever a directive is given or issued by the president of a country, it has to be taken serious. But as far as I'm concerned, and with my understanding of a limited liability company, a limited liability company is supposed to operate uh, like a purely private entity. But to the best of my understanding, government is supposed to be about the provision of goods and services. While limited liability companies are after profit maximization and cost minimization. Even when you talk about the accounting, the accounting of limited liability companies is called a basis we describe as accrual basis. While when you're talking about the public sector, the accounting basis is called cash basis. Even when you talk about international standards of analysis, when you talk about private sector, we use what we call international financial reporting standard. While for public sector, we use what we call international public sector accounting standard. So to that extent, they are supposed to be different. For me, government is supposed to be about provision of goods and services. But as things unfold, we are going to see whether this incorporation will be geared towards improving the lives of Nigerians or it will operate purely as an entity that will be after profit maximization and cost minimization regardless of how the inflation is going to be in the country, regardless of how the disposable income of Nigerians will be, knowing that the minimum wage today has been frozen at about 30,000 naira per month. Mm -hmm. Well, do you think it will be better run or do we need to change the people running it? Clearly, you do not think from what I, you have said that the government has any business doing what it's doing, but it's done already. But do you think that it will be better run or do we need to change the people running it? No, I think changing the people is not the issue. But what the the company represents, at least when you say a limited liability company, we have an idea of what it means. And we know the functions of government. And we know what private companies or entities are after. The philosophies are completely different. I will want a situation where the price of 12.5 kg of cooking gas will move down from the 6,000 naira that it is now to about 3,000 as a Nigerian. It's actually 6,005. Okay, you can see what you are saying. So I will want it to be 3,000 or 2,005. I will want a situation where the price of a bag of fertilizer that is now between eleven and 17,000 should go back to the two or 3,000 Naira that we used to know so that we can boost agriculture. I will want a situation where the price of a diesel, of, of, of a liter of diesel that, that is about 
300 now will go back to 120 so that so many of the SMEs will be able to go back into production because many of them have closed shops. I would be surprised if your studio now is also running on diesel. And after a while, you may not be able to break even. When you look at some of those Asian companies, you know, like the Chinese companies that are even operating in Nigeria, I don't want to believe that they are running what we call a purely capitalist government. In Nigeria is a very weak economy, and imagine economy for that matter. But time will tell. We will see whether the philosophy is going to be in the interest of Nigerians and bring Nigerians out of the current economic poverty and pain. But it's only time that will tell. Clearly, Mr. For people Zaka. like me, it will not be fair to come up with a likely direction that the, 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 the result will be. For time will definitely reveal it. Well, clearly, you do have your reservations. What model would you advise if you were made a consultant to the Nigerian government? Well, if you, if you make me a consultant, the first thing I will ask you is the terms of reference. It is the terms of reference that is going to determine how I'm going to work. Then if you make the terms of reference and I see it, then I will now ask myself, the kind of consultancy services I'm going to render to you, is it just to make money from you as a consultant? Or oh, there is a need for me to also bring it and try to see how I can marry it with my conscience? Because that, those are the questions I would just ask myself. If you were consulted to make things perfect in this sector as a consultant, what well, would if, you advise? If they, if I'm consulted to make things perfect, then the first thing I will do is to put my thinking cap as somebody who needs to help so that a private or a limited liability company will continue to thrive, which we technically call it should be a going concern. But also as a Nigerian, I will question my morals. Because for a private company, if the price of cooking gas goes to 10,000 naira or 12.5 kg, the private company will be very happy. If they go into refining and they make a liter of petrol, uh, 300, for them it will be sweet business because they will want to maximize profit and minimize cost. So at that point, will I be having conflict with my conscience? Then the question of morality will come in. So it depends on the kind of consultant and the conscience that will be at play. But what is your general view of the Petroleum Industry Act? Well, so many positives are there on the Petroleum Industry Act. And we have also agreed that because there is going to be, or there has been a steering committee, the next one year will be used to cross the teeth and got some of the eyes that we are not taking care of before the president has sent to the bill. That has been agreed. And in the next one year, we will see how things will unfold. But for somebody like me, I've already known that if we decide, because I noticed that there will be removal of subsidy or deregulation that will be based on importation. So for me, I'm just trying to tell them that they need to be very careful about that part. Because the cost of that subsidy that they are trying to say may be may not sorry may not be up to the, the cost of the anarchy that will be created when the hardship comes into play. Because if you remove that subsidy, looking at how poor Nigerians are, people can't go to farm because of uh, the hostilities there and the inflation rate and other things. That cost of subsidy, they are trying to say, the anarchy or the tsunami that will be triggered may be more expensive than that. But I will be very happy because I learned that there are about 16 refineries. Definitely once the refineries are fixed, they will bridge supply and they will reduce the pressure on forex. And we will internally enjoy what we call self-sufficiency because don't forget that we are about 200 million citizens, and we are reliant on less than 
10,000 megawatts of electricity to generate our energy or power. There is no way an economy will grow like that. Well, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Balazaka, for your time. Thank you very much. Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.